The MTN8 Waffa Waffa is giving us what it's got, so I'm about to give you what I got. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time to support Blitz, please do subscribe, like the video so it can be recommended to other people. We can also stay connected on social media. I've included all my social medias down on the description box. So, Golden Arrows Super Sports United had the opening game of the MTN8 Wafa Wafa and I must say I was intrigued throughout the game. I really did not see the outcomes coming, but it was an entertaining game overall. Super Sport must be upset with themselves because they had the chance and the potential of actually winning the whole game. They dominated the whole game. Super Sport must be upset with themselves because they really did they really did create chances and they did not upset. Supersport was very strong throughout the game. Their center was very strong, which made Golden Arrows a difficulty for them to get through to the goals and create chances for themselves, which is why you can actually see how Golden Arrows had the difficulty by actually playing the ball a lot of the times to the left where the new guy, Kele, just made his debut. And I must also say I'm impressed with Kele. I think he's going to have a great season at Arrows and he's going to be a great great player for them and i must also say the new debut for arrows lamini he also did a great job but the guy was putting so much pressure on himself i think he just needed to relax and just have fun it's his first debut yes you want to make a name for yourself no but i think he needed more time to relax and i also have to give kudos to super sports uh development team i mean like the guys that they bring from development to senior level they're always top class or maybe i'm just saying this because i like Debo i'm such a big fan of the boy i mean he has talent he has talent and i think he has a bright future ahead of him the guy did an amazing job as well at the olympics so ooh kudos to him also guys i must just say kudos to the goalkeepers from both sides because they both did a phenomenal job they did a great job so they also both from the olympics so they still got that mojo going for them and they also wanted to redeem themselves from the olympics but that did not really happen for one of them of course rowan williams did not happen for him and I must also say, who is teaching Supersport how to take penalties, guys? No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, we all know that if you're going to take penalties, at least try to get the ball below the keeper's knees. I mean, like, if the ball is going to go above the keeper's knees, and it's definitely going to go out, most probably, or the keeper has the higher chance of actually saving it. I mean, I did not even play goalkeeper, but I think I definitely could have played the ball like that. So uh, Supersport needs to go back to the drawing board on how to take penalties because Golden Arrows did a great job. So I must say kudos to Golden Arrows. I mean, above and above 10, they came in and just, you know, they showed us that Team Spirit really can get you through anything. And they really did show us what Team Spirit meant and they did come back and actually win the game. So they definitely are progressing to the same means and I'm excited for Amba Fanabes Tende. While Matazanta are out definitely at this point, they are definitely out, but guys, Today's match, what a way of opening the game. I am so excited for them. Ha! Huh. <laughs> well, my thoughts about the original Soweto Derby? Well, we had high expectations about the defending champions. However, they did not deliver, although they had so much hype around them. I mean, Swallows came in with a plan. They knew they wanted to control the game. They knew they came. We want to attack. We need to get the goals going. We need to win this match. That's exactly what they did. So they definitely attacked from the first 16 minutes of the game. They came in and they were like, this game is ours. Orlando Paris did not deliver like we thought they would expected them to because they were the favorites in this match however it's just turned out differently i actually think that orlando paris came into this match and underestimated Suarez. that's how i see it or other people might think that oh the coach must go he's doing a terrible job but i don't actually see it that way i actually think that orlando paris needs to dig deep in their pockets and go look for strikers go look for people to attack to create goals and chances for orlando pirates that's what they need we cannot they they just like they need some bit of spice like somebody who is in the front line to be able to create goals for them they don't really have that kind of strength power for for me that's how i actually see it so they need to dig down in their pockets go look for somebody some more players to actually do justice for them at the front line so i actually think that's where they need to improve and today's game 
it's just it is what it is guys you know you have expectations and you think the team that's gonna win is just, just not winning that's the thing that's the thing the beauty about football it's just you never know what's gonna happen and definitely look at what Swallows did guys hello guys do subscribe to my channel like the video so you can be recommended to other people we can also stay connected on social media i've included all my social medias down on the description box you can also give me your comments your views your thoughts what do you think about my analysis right here on my channel so i know where to improve thank you so much guys for all coming here and listening to me when i give you my two cents catch me tomorrow as i give you the second stages of the quarterfinals for the mtn8 waffa waffa i need to waffa waffa <laughs>